Hello, this is George from George's Aquascapes and today we're going to be doing a Madagascar day gecko uh, vivarium and um, I'll just show you the supplies first off. First off we've got my uh, Exoterra tool tank. This is 30 by 30 by 45 centimetres. In the back we have a uh, cork background, very useful. As you can see I've started to clean up the tank. I haven't like fully cleaned it out because I'm going to be putting plantation soil in it anyway. So I didn't want to clean it all out. Uh, firstly, um, first thing I'm going to say is there's going to be no drainage there on this tank because I don't have the equipment for it, which, uh, which just means that you're going to have to change it more often because without a drainage layer, the soil will get very like, soggy and the water that's in the uh, layer will get very stagnant and horrible and it's just not very nice. But um, it will still last like, a good three, four months probably, even if you just use soil and no drainage layer, layer, but I advise you using a drainage layer in the future. First I'm going to show you my equipment. First of all I have a metal ruler because I'm going to be cutting some pieces of bamboo to size some uh, such as uh, this piece of bamboo here. It's very long, it's about a metre long. Um, if you can read that there it says it's four to five diameter which means this bit here um, I also have um, some smaller pieces of bamboo, which is just here. He's about a metre long as well. As well as that, I have, of course, a bucket full of uh, plantation soil. Got loads of that. Um, as well, I have a uh, one cocoa hut because they're just they're great in general. I have this thing here which I thought was quite neat, not too sure what it is though. It's going to put water in it and it may be a good hiding spot as well. And I have two pieces of grapevine. It's one piece there. It's another piece there. And then of course I have some plants. I have this vine-like plant. Quite small but I'm hoping for this to grow up the bamboo. It's in there. Then I have this small plant. I have no clue what this is. But uh, it's a nice little uh, base layer plant. Now, of course, I have a bromeliad. You've always got to have a bromeliad. That's one there. Bromeliads are just great in general. And then finally, I have this big reed sort of looking plant. Not too sure what it is. That's it there. That's just because there's a lot of height in this tank, as you can see, like up here. You've got to fill it up so it looks like a nice jungle. Uh, first I'm going to add the plantation soil and I'm going to cut the bamboo pieces to size and I'll get back to you once I've done that. Right, so so far I've made a little bamboo structure. I've cut some bamboo to pieces and then I've used a uh, piece of um, elastic band to put it into place. As you can see that's the 4 by 4 to 5 size diameter. This one's a slightly smaller one, and then these are very small ones. See, I've just used one of these elastic bands here together to give a nice effect that it's like holding it up. Um, I'm just going to do a bit more work. Um, I think I might add the plants a bit. First, I'm just going to play around with pieces of wood like this grapevine and uh, cocoa huts and other things, etc. Not too sure about that yet. This is how I've done it so far. I'm not too sure whether I'm going to include the grapevine or not. I haven't fully decided. I'm going to carry on playing it around. I'll play around with it a bit more and then once I've decided I'll add the plants and then I'll cut you back to it. So I finished this uh, Madagascar Day Gecko setup tank. I'll just run you through everything I did now and the finished project. So I'll just open this up for you. So firstly, you can see all the plantation soil is spread out throughout the ground and I've leveled it up towards the back so that's why I've planted the bigger higher plants you can see here this reed looking plant it has deep roots so the, the, uh, the level of the dirt is much higher so it goes down like this um, I've used an elastic band to tie these bamboo pieces together I have some small pieces here here and I have a slightly large piece just here 
and that's holding up a bromeliad which I've also used an elastic band to attach. Here I've got a long piece of bamboo which just breaks up the tank and makes it look a lot nicer. I've added a bit of moss here which will hopefully grow along if I'm lucky. I've got a smaller plant here, I've added a couple rocks just to break up the, um, the ground because it's a bit boring at the moment. I've also got a couple pieces of moss which are nice and green, you can't really show because it's very dark on this camera. But it's overall very, very nice. Then uh, we've got the grapevine just coming in. I decided I was going to use it. I wasn't originally, but I changed my mind. And that's just above the cocoa hut. And I've also got a bit of moss there that will hopefully grow out through. Um, there's a little uh, mushroom sort of type thing just there. That's also just to break up the ground. Then around the back here, you can't really see it, but there is a um, vine plant, which I'm hoping will grow nice vines and it will grow out. And I'll just get a better shot of it there. That's it right there. Um, so this is the tank right here. It didn't take too long. This will collect water from the bromeliad, spare water, and it will just fill up and it will be a nice sitting bowl and drinking bowl for the... Um, not sitting bowl, sorry. That's if they're dart frogs. If Madagascar day geckos, it would just be a drinking bowl. This is an ideal basking spot right here. They do like to bask a little bit under a nice light. Obviously this isn't a light, this is just, this isn't where it's going to be, this is just in the kitchen because it's easy to set up here. Uh, here's a nice overview of the tank. The side shot. Another side shot. And here's a great little tip which will uh, make your Madagascar day geckos nicer but I didn't put it in because I wanted to see them more because if you put this in they tend to hide gather there sorry for all through the top here you just gotta watch it and uh, it's just very nice and they can do is they can hide inside without being in the main focus of the person gather time to hide but personally I do like to see my pets all the time and I like I find it a bit pointless if they're just hiding all the time like many of my salamanders and newts do so I decided, do you know what, I have it so they can be open in the... It's a tool tank. Also, here's another tip. You can actually use this for our um, arboreal dart frogs in case you want eggs in the bromeliad, which is a great loan. Nice cocaine in case they want to stay at the bottom. Just very nice, indeed. Um, thank you for watching. This has been George from George's Aquascapes. I hope you do enjoy this video. And, uh, indeed. Thank you for watching. This has been George from George's Aquascapes. I hope you do enjoy this video and uh, thank you. Bye. Right, so I've just uh, finished off this tank. I did a couple alterations because I thought I was finished and I was like, do you know what? I decided I wasn't. And that's one thing that you should always do. You should always like look back at it and add to your tanks. So uh, I'll show you through what I've done here. Just open it up for you. you have a look here, firstly I've added a new piece of bamboo. This is just for another basking spot and climbing spot for uh, the Madagascar day gecko. Uh, it would also work for arboreal dart frogs because they can climb up it. As you can see I've attached an elastic band, some vines and there's another one down here. And hopefully I'm hoping that will grow up, up the bamboo which will look very nice. Um, I've also added many small things such as pine cones. I like pine cones because they just add to the tank. I've moved around a couple of pieces of moss, you can't really see them, but that's there. That's there, another piece there, and there's another piece somewhere, I can't find it. I've also added some rocks just to uh, break up the background, and I've moved this little mushroom thing just here. So that's the tank there. I haven't changed anything else, it's the same as it was. Side view. Another front view. And then another side view. The only thing I'd worry about is there's a possibility that the day gecko or arboreal dark frog would hide up there. And that might become a pain, but as I said, it's a neat little thing because it can give them some privacy and they're not always in the um, sunlight but there you go
there's my tank. Uh, thank you for watching, and I'll update you once I have got the Arboreal Dark Frog or the Madagascar Day Gecko. Thank you for watching, and bye.